Hey everybody, Patrick here. Today we're going to be continuing building our space scene. Uh, we're going to be looking specifically at bringing in a cube map that we create uh, using GIMP. Bringing that into Blender, creating a cube map, mapping the faces, and then so on, bringing into 3.js to complete the scene. Now a cube map essentially is a, a giant cube that surrounds your entire scene and um, acts as sort of a backdrop and we're going to be using it to kind of create that those spacey kind of plasma look uh, to the scene so let me just demonstrate that real quick what we're going to be creating all right you can see I've gone ahead and continued on the space scene and I've developed this kind of this spacey cubey look not QB, a uh, uh, plasma look to it that you'll recognize in the solar system. Um, there are some problems with with this, and that involves pinching that occurs right up top here. Uh, you can there's many ways you can kind of work around that by maybe darkening these areas and playing with it and so on. Uh, but for now, we're not going to really worry a whole lot about that. I'm going to show you the scene that I've created in Blender. Uh, it was uh, based off of some of the work another gentleman did with Aero Twist. Um, some alterations that I, I made to it uh, to develop it a little bit further. Uh, but without any further ado, why don't we hop in and start developing our actual environment map. We're going to do that in GIMP. Alright, so I'm going to open up GIMP and I'm going to do a new project. And we'll make this um, 2056 by 20. Uh, 1024. Uh, 10, 10, 48. Alright, so here is going to be our essentially our background. We're going to go up to filters, render, and we're going to do a plasma. Let's bring down the turbulence on it so it's a little more even. And then we'll just do this until we get something nice. That's not bad. Go ahead and hit OK on that. I'm going to create a new layer. Right up top. Do the same thing this time around. We're going to do a... We'll do a render. Clouds. We'll do solid noise. Around new C, new C, new C. Alright, so that's going to be our first layer on top. Let's change the mode on it. Oops, not the opacity, the mode, the multiply. Alright, so that adds a little bit of darkness to it. Alright, let's add another one. So we'll do another layer. More noise. All right, another layer on top of that. Maybe I'll do this and just decrease the opacity a little bit. Well, that looks good. I'm going to do another layer. This time around, I'm going to do a gradient. Just standard gradient. So let's switch over to our gradient tool. Okay. And let's look, go through the different modes we have here. I'll decrease the opacity on that. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'll just flip it. Can transform, flip vertically. Okay, maybe decrease the opacity on that slightly. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is we're going to export this 
and I'm just going to export it as the uh, WebGL texture that we've kind of created. And we'll go in here. Actually, let's not export it here. Let's export this to our Blender folder. We'll export it as a space texture. And export that file. Yep, 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 okay. All right, so that creates our basic texture. Now let's go into Blender real quick. And I'm gonna hit escape on this. I'll show you this exact scene just so you guys can see. All right, so basically what we're looking at right here, I'm gonna put this in wireframe. All right, so we have a camera set up to be 90 degrees on the field of view. You can switch that over. Then we have these inverted normals on our sphere which are going to have a texture applied to it. All right. And that's going to have, be shadeless. And then essentially, on the camera, we have all these different views. So I'm going to go through this. We have a 90 degree on the X. Then we have a 90 degree switch on the Z. So that basically moves to the left. Then one more to the left. Then a third one um, to the left. Followed by a spin 90 degrees on the Z and then spin 90 degrees again on the Z going up and down alright so you need to spin those around just because of the way the faces uh, organize so if you can if you follow along with that you can see all the values changing right up top here uh, for all these diff different things Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on setting up this scene um, what I'll do is I will post a copy of this document that you can kind of uh, download and, and use for your own purposes. It took me a little bit of fiddling to get everything aligned, uh, aligned properly with this. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and you will see that I have this already set up uh, to go directly into our WebGL folder set as mapping. I'll go ahead and animate that. Click animation, it's going to render out everything. Oh, I'm sorry, I used the old mapping on there, so I need to refresh that. Let me do that real quick. Alright, so we'll go over to texture on the sphere. And we will just change that, that one. So right now we're using this one, we're going to change that one around. And I called that space text PNG. And ooh, that wasn't set up to tile. All right, this needs to tile actually. I have to make some small alterations to this. Easy enough. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back over into Blender, and we will merge down these layers and then what we'll do is we will come up under here under under mapping make seamless and let's try this one more time We come back over here and refresh this. I know it looks like it'll work. Okay, so you can kind of see that on all the different sides. All right, so let's go ahead and hit animation now. All right, so that renders that out. And if we look and see how it's brought into the scene, hit refresh on this, and you'll see now we have that scene brought in there. Now, there's obviously more stuff you can do to play around with this thing to kind of uh, clean it up even more. Like, you know, p potentially editing these files, cleaning up this kind of 
this little pinching action right here because um, you obviously don't probably don't want that in there and it doesn't need to be you can easily clean that up with a little bit of uh, gimp work but the idea basically is to bring this whole scene in there tile it and kind of continue on with our space scene and you, as you can see you're getting something that really does look nice with it all right so how's the code work simple enough all right we have a create sky function all right and what this is going to do is create an image list called mapping. All right. Uh, and then we have each of our faces. All right. That's going to be put into an array. Um, and then we have our image type, which is .png. And then we have our cube geometry, which is a 500 by 500 by 500 cube. And that's going to encompass our whole scene. And then the material faces array. Uh, and this is going to basically create all the different uh, faces based off of the name of the file, mapping, the value number of it, and the extension of it. And it's going to add all of those together, and it's going to go one through these these values basically to assign it then the last thing it's going to do is it's going to assign all of these to the inside faces using the three dot backside uh, command okay so then once it's created that array it's going to stick that array inside of this function mesh face material and then it's going to create a new mesh skybox with those values right there and just add it into the whole scene and that pretty much is it for creating a uh, function I'll have to provide you with the blend file uh, so you can do this on your own as well as the as the code uh, as you notice I did have to monkey around with the the positions of these values uh, again I could go and reorder everything in blender um, but I'm not going to do that. I'll also provide an ori uh, original link to the uh, the people that helped me put this one together um, so that you can take a look at their references and stuff um, and the tweaks that they had on their original file. So, But my file was just basically modified based of, off of their work um, to basically create the scene. Anyways, thanks again for tuning in. I hope this uh, clears up um, the cube uh, mapping a ma mapping a cube map again you can do this with other things you might want have a better environment that you want to ma map to but this is an easy way to kind of get all of this content in there in in a nice way um, and as you can see it looks really nice uh, thanks again and don't forget to subscribe